to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Hi, right, y'all, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have the top 10 cheapest New Balance models. So I'm gonna be going through 10 different models from New Balance, and I'm just gonna be showing you from literally cheapest to the most expensive. The highest sneaker on this list, I, I tried to keep everything under 200 for the most part. The last shoe, number one, is over 200, but everything else is under 200. I wanted to show you guys some of them are under 100 as well. So, we're gonna be going through all these new balances. If you guys want more top 10s and top 10 cheapest, make sure you leave a like. But most importantly, make sure you take a second out of your day, hit that subscribe button because we post every other day, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber, unless, of course. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Now, all the talking is out of the way. As I was saying, we have 10 new balances to go through, and I'm going by retail prices. So keep in mind, you can probably find these sneakers cheaper if you look at used pairs, and or you just go on GOAT, and some colorways might be cheaper new, and just places like that. So keep in mind, we're just going by retail prices, but there is other options to get cheaper sneakers. But for the sake of the video, we're going to go by retail. So I'm going to move over and we're going to put up some New Balance models. So coming in at number 10, I feel like this is pretty obvious. I feel like everybody kind of knows this sneaker and you can do what you want with that information. It is the New Balance 574. This is the V2 pair. There's a V4. There's a V1, obviously. And it's just that 574. These ones are very classic. Like, I feel like everybody kind of had these when we were like kids or just like, it's a very like old shoe, basically. This has been around for a minute as well as all these other models. But this one is specifically like, you see this a lot more because it is a more affordable pair. This one only retails for $85. There's millions of colorways of these out there. So, hey, just wanted to put this on the list. This is the cheapest one. Next, moving up to $99.99 retail price. So, basically $100. It is the New Balance 327. Now, you guys saw I did pick up a pair of these for my mom. And I actually really messed with this model. I think there is a lot of good colorways coming out in them. I feel like... Um, some collabs, I feel like they need to do some collabs on this model and people will probably appreciate them more. I know there's a few already, but they just need like one to really hit because this model isn't bad. Like, I actually like the model. They're very thin though, like midsole is thin. It's a very thin shoe this way and they're cool though. They look nice on feet and when they're styled right, they look good. And then again, as I said, some of the colorways are definitely fire. Okay, so going into a sneaker that pretty much everybody is obsessed with right now. Again, we're going by retail price. Obviously, some collabs on the shoe go up way more than $100. These retail for $110, I believe. It is the New Balance 550. Now, I have the red and blue pair, just a regular GR pair, nothing crazy. Those were literally $110 retail, not expensive. These ones, same thing right here, the black and white, $110. And you're probably like, bro, I can never find them. They're sold out. These are not hard to find. At least the GR pairs are not hard to find. You just got to stay up with like the release dates and all that stuff because if you have a new balance near you as well just go on release go on the websites go on sites that might have them stocked in even Foot Locker be having them now so hey just stay tuned for these and then as I said before the used pairs as well I know I work in district one so we get a lot in and I see some of the used pairs come in and we sell them for only like a hundred dollars not even literally less than that I think we had a pair the other day for like eighty dollars like the orange and white pair that was used yeah the New Balance 550 not that much to say everybody likes this model again there's pairs that are definitely above that hundred and ten dollars but even if you are paying resale say you are paying for the black and white pair they only resell for like 130 140 so it's still cheaper but retail price is 110 if you can get them for retail but definitely just check on goat because you'll see a lot of cheap pairs next this is a model that i found while actually looking on goat to see the prices of the 550 to see like what the resale prices were and i figured i'd put this on the list i believe retail on these is only 110 as well and it is the new balance 530 v2 now these gave me very um much like dad shoe vibes obviously a lot of new balances are really dad shoe vibes but this one gave me like air monarch vibes like that's what i got from these so i just really like the colorway this one this is the khaki colorway um and i just thought it was cool you can find these on goat for literally 120 130 but again retail is 110 but if you want to pay a little bit more, it's still under that 200 price range. These are tough. I like the color. And then obviously I feel like once somebody styles this right, like they're going to go hard. Going to the next New Balance model, we do have the New Balance 5740. This one does retail for 120, so we're going up a little bit more in that price range. 120, not too bad for these though. Um, I really like the midsole of these, and I like the way that the paneling is on this. There's a lot of colorways in this one. They do a lot of cool, funky colors with this. I feel like there's not a lot of toned down colors in these. That's why it's really you don't really see them as much because this is the most toned down I could find, and this has an orange stripe on it and like little hints of orange on it. 
but most of the colors are very like purples greens yellows orange like very bright colors which if you're into that that's fire i really do like sneakers like that as well like i don't just like creams and neutrals and beiges and all that stuff but for the 5740 i feel like they do need to bring out some more of those calm colorways but for the most part these are still hard i really do like some of the colors these you could honestly some are on sale for like 100 110 going by retail price these are 119 dollars Staying in the $120 range, we do have the New Balance XC72. Now, these are interesting. I like the outsole on these. I like how it comes up to the front. They kind of give me like um, Adidas, uh, what are those called? The soccer shoes, the, the Sambas? Or I don't even know, but it gives me that type of vibe if you know what I'm talking about. They kind of give me like a soccer shoe vibe with like a runner at the same time. I don't know. I thought they were cool. I like this colorway. I feel like, again... I just picture whenever I most New Balances when I picture it I don't know if it's just my Instagram Explorer page but when I see most New Balances I just picture these like in front of like a plant with like a brown outfit or something or just like that's what I just see when I see most New Balances just because that's what Instagram has pretty much dictated New Balances as but these still are hard I like the XC72 it's different it's not like all the other New Balance models so I'll give them that and retails 120 now getting into my personal favorite new balance model i do own a pair of these it is the new balance 2002 r now my pair is a collab pair it is a salehi bembury pair so they're like 250 upwards but this right here there's actually four colorways on new balance right now under retail retail on the new balance 2002 r is 140 now that's if you're lucky to get them for 140 but there's four pairs right now and this one's actually on sale for 120 and i really mess with this colorway this white with like the orange and blue these are tough uh, there's like the silver and red pair as well. There's a couple pairs on New Balance right now, so definitely check those out. But I feel like the suede pairs are a little bit more. Like, I don't even think the retail is 140 on those. But for this specific 2002R, the retail is 140. And this colorway is on sale for 120. So I wanted to put these on the list because the 2002R is my personal favorite New Balance um, shoe. I just love the way it looks. I love the shape of it. I love the paneling. I love the comfort. I love the way it looks on my foot. Like, it's just such a good model. So, yeah, and I've been saying that for years now. Y'all can quote me on that. Y'all can go back to any of the top 10 videos from like two years ago. Okay, now we're doing a pretty big price jump. We were just at 140. Now we're going to $185. This is what most of the new balances that you see are like priced at. Like this is most of their retail. If you go into Foot Locker, you'll see like, you know, let's, let's get into it. The new balance 990 V5. Now this right here is a sneaker that a lot of people have. And for the right reasons, these are definitely tough. I mess with them. The gray colorway everybody likes. This right here is a different version of the gray colorway. It's like the vegan friendly ones. Um, still 185 though. They have a bunch of colorways of these. You get the all blacks, the, the grays, the tans, and so many of these. And for 185, it is a good New Balance. Now, I do think the next sneaker is a little bit better than this one, but we'll get to that. So 990 V5, definitely tough though. Okay, so now staying with the $185 retail price that's the same thing with these are these are 185 dollars in my opinion this is probably my second favorite new balance um after the 2002 r it is the 990 v3 now i do own a pair of these as well i have that white and blue pair these right here are tough the black pair the gray pair the, the regular classic colorways and then as well as different colorways like the one i have and all that stuff and again as i was saying before this pair especially this model definitely go on ebay and check some of the used pairs because as i said i got my pair for 60 dollars sixty dollars for my pair so hey and they're in pretty good condition and i was gonna beat them up anyway so they look good like they're kind of yellowed like they're cream but it looks good like it's like a good yellowing and i like the way that those look a lot so yeah these right here the 990 v3s are just tough i love the way that the model is shaped i love the comfort on these and they just look really really good on foot and in my opinion as i said literally the second best new balance okay so the last new balance on the list um i wanted to put these on because this is my third favorite new balance like these are like top three between the 2002r the, the, the 990 v3s and then these right here these are my favorite three new balance models this is the 992 and these are tough this is these are these are definitely tough there's a lot of collabs on these there's a lot of colorways in these um i actually had a pair of these retail on these is 250 dollars so that's why it's at the end that is why it is the last sneaker because these are retailing for 250 dollars so yeah again a lot of collabs on it definitely check used for these um you'll find them cheaper but for retail prices 250 dollars this colorway is tough too i actually really like the specific colorway that i'm showing y'all but there's a bunch of different colorways like there's a lot in these a lot so just, I definitely just do some outside research but i gave you all the models so take what you want with that information and go crazy all right, y'all, so that is pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the grind to 70,000 subscribers. We're almost there, so appreciate everybody. And go follow the Instagram at Pour Our Souls so you can see me, you know, style some New Balance. Maybe we'll have some uh, New Balance outfit idea videos very, very soon. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Appreciate y'all. And uh, we out. Hour-long vlog next. Anyway, <laughs>
the money and love with the music I do it with passion yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer and love with the fashion yeah. I'm a move with the money, they calling me Michael, I'm feeling like Jackson And I ain't like none of you niggas, you know I'm a boss, I ain't